two, three, rain, talk to me. We're gonna hit a beat and talk about my Eve. Everybody, oh, you know what I say? God. I'm gonna do a beat. Make it stop, rain. It's Why? time to Why? stop. Why did you rock, paper, scissors, right? We don't want Eve to be look as simple as shut the fuck up, Seto! Buds of like memes and these small gangers are like, we're the elite of the elite. Do not fuck with us, we will kill you. We are the best players ever. It's like, dude, I did your shit. I did it better than you did. You know what this conversation is like? When I say not enough to a super die in Delph, and people tell me, oh, look, there's a super die in Delph. So it's like, when what I'm are you even about talking issue, about? We were talking about fucking but, balance, not supers yeah. dying in Delph. Look, look, Why does everything with you have to be about supers fucking dying shut in Delph? Shut up. Shut up. Christ. Uh, it's, it's an analogy. Moron, you stop arguing. You act like fucking married couple. Jesus Christ. No, don't stop arguing. No, no, no. Oh, it is trash talk too. No, no, no. I was like. Rain. I just want to know. <laughs> no. Rain. Yeah. Ray, well, ladies and gentlemen, like... hello and welcome to Trash Talk Tuesday, your one-stop shot for shit posting. Today's topics are a patch, a meetup, and a dying alliance. I am Kale. I'm apparently hosting today because Redline's eating banana. If we can get a level five hype train, he will go live on cam eating said banana. Welcome to the show. We well, don't get enough viewers for that. That is, I will do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Well, oh, we hope you have more Mav than one banana. <laughs> What'd you say, Kale? I said, yeah, hopefully Mav is watching. We can get that level five height train going. <laughs> well, where do, you, where, do, where do we start, dude? You're the host tonight, so you got to tell us where to start. Where do you well, want to start? I mean, we got the patch coming out. I mean, I think one of the major things about the patch that just came out is it didn't break local. I think that was an absolute achievement on behalf of CCP that a, a big patch came out, and as far as I can tell, overnight nothing broke. <laughs> eh, a few things, a few things didn't work with the new patch. I don't think there's some bug reports out like the no, uh, no one, being no so one fucking negative, Jeremy. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, come on, dude. Sorry, Jeremy. This is why <laughs> he lost the war. Pappy didn't lose the worship. I'm in the, the, I'm in the wrong time zone to be the reason. If the Pappy patch is out, war. why are people still doing mune and fleas? Because I'm seeing lots of mune and kill males already. This well, is disappointing. Because... Everyone told me battleships are drain supreme, and all I see are fucking munins. I don't think anybody told you that. I think people told you the opposite of that, that it would still just be munins, but battleships would be cool to fly sometimes. What Alright, what's mean? the best battleship? It the depends, Paladin. Rain. Okay, I'm looking up Paladin Kill Mails. Paladin, yes. Wait, don't look up Paladin Kill Mails. Don't. I got a nice Paladin kill the other day. He, don't we look at this. Paladin has a variety of battleships doctrines that are quite effective and interesting. Typhoons are interesting as a citadel shooting doctrine. Some alliances use them. Maelstroms are interesting as a counter battleship doctrine. Tempests and TFIs are good as a general all use armor battleship doctrine. Rocks are an interesting doctrine. Ravens are an interesting doctrine. Abaddon's are an interesting doctrine. Geddon's and Apox are mostly shit. Uh, Megatrons are good. And at the moment, we haven't seen Dommies or Hyperions because they're a little more focused on what they do. But literally every race has at least something that's kind of interesting when it comes to fleet battleship combat. And as time goes on and as more people get back into the swing of training them and, you know, fleets get a little less used to immune and reliance, I would not be surprised if we saw a resurgence of battleships over time. The Who's going to stop using munins, though? Fleets, like, munins, Who's going to stop using cool munins way. first? No one's gonna I mean, a lot of alliances have got them stocked up because it's been a mainline doctrine for years now, so it's not going to be an overnight change. The important thing so, to understand no one... about munins is that, like, munins as a I need to win a fleet battle doctrine are probably going to see some change. I don't know who, but I, I would expect many alliances. Munins as a there's 20 guys in our space, what do we form very quickly and can go dunk on them without having to, you know, put a competent FC in charge? It's going to be munins. Right, that's always been the incredible benefit of munins. They're they're high speed, they're high disengageability, they're high alpha, they're high tracking. Just their ability to put anybody in charge and have things go, for the most part, extremely effective. I guess you could say. 
All right, so I looked it up. I did find a battleship fleet, but it happened in Poshvin, so I don't think it counts. I mean, it does count. It's a fleet fight with just battleships. Like, that's cool. But it's Poshvin. I mean, still, though. Where's my K-Space fights? There are oh. no fights in K-Space, Rain. It's a dead game. Every, every time, like, uh, at least when I was in test, every time that we would form our battleship fleet, the goons would sit on a Titan within bridge range and not and decide not to come in. It's always been what they do. Apparently Pando did a battleship roam today. Fought against Megathron Navy issues. That seems interesting. Where's that battle report? But he was in Megas or against Megas? He fought against some assuming he was not in them. But I don't see the battle report anywheres. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Apparently there was something else that was added to the patch that wasn't put into the patch notes. Oh, what was uh, that? CCP Aurora uh, pinged out, Hey friends, to help you get through the now chunkier ships, bomb base damage and armor has been increased. Was missing the patch notes, but it's getting added now. The numbers should also align now so that COVID Ops 4 is no longer better than COVID Ops 5 for getting another bomb into the wave. So bombs have been uh, buffed a bit to help combat the now tankier battleships. So what how, was the like, point of buffing the of battleships? Buff? Yes. How big of a buff? Like, what are we talking? Like, 10%? Like, 25%? Like, do we only need, like, five bombers to wipe out immunity? Um, Poco can? changes are actually... I'm just answering someone with a question. Poco changes are pretty interesting. I like the fact the aggression against the gantries and high sect is now a suspect act rather than a criminal. You don't need to be war decked if someone no, puts sir. one down. Sir, stop. Go back. What? what? How much of a buff are we talking about here? I linked it in Guest Lounge. You've got all the information that I was just given. <laughs> this is a this is that's a pretty big that's a pretty big change. Just to be like, like there were no oh, numbers or anything. Way. It just says that bomb base damage number has been increased and they've uh, jimmied around the skills a little bit. So COVID Ops four and five are both viable now. How old is this video game? Eve Online is coming nineteen in nineteen years. And how, in 19 years of developing a video game, do things not make it into patch notes? I, I think you're thinking way into it. Like, well, I, I just forgot to add something. I just, what the fucking did? I just do, what do you I think the, s- the people that I were writing patch numbers. notes in 2003 are the same people that are writing patch notes in 2022? No, but you would have figured it out that long, right? That's not how institutional corporate memory works. It is exactly how it works. I need to find the patch notes. Okay. Have you not read the patch notes? <laughs> of course I've read the patch notes. I host a very popular Twitch talk show about EVE Online. I need to read the patch notes. Well, it looks like they haven't put it into the patch notes yet, so the patch notes up, and I just searched for bomb, and there were no, um, no hits, so you it hasn't been bomber? added yet. I searched for bomb. B O M B. Yeah, but did you search for bomber? Well, search I searched for bomb, for bomb, bomb which, would have, which would have showed bomber as well. Oh my god, redline. You can't spell bomber without bomb. <laughs> Anyways, I did read the patch notes. I read all of them this morning when I got to work. And there was nothing about bombers in there. I refuse to believe that bombers have been buffed because why would you take something as beautiful as a battleship? and say to it, Battleship, here you go, you can fly free. And then you also say to the Eagle Hawk that eats battleships, here you go, fly free, and continue to eat these battleships. Because bombers are supposed to be able to kill battleships? Because the way that the skill bonuses worked with how the EHP of the bomb item in space worked meant that having cover- the skill at 5 didn't really make sense was having the skill at 5 was less effective than having the skill at 4 which never makes sense the and, well how does that affect the bomb itself like what yeah made? there's always got to be something you know like you, you can't power creep it and have one thing better than everything else everything's got to have its pros and its cons obviously battleships now tanky so they can withstand a lot more but if someone wants to be sneaky and 
the uh, Battleship FC doesn't put anti-bomber um, stuff in place, then you know they they're gonna get bit in the ass. Hold on, hold on. We're we're thinking too small here. Yeah, it's, it's it's the same thing with Titans. How they made them be able I to think... track a lot less and do less damage to subcaps, so that way people weren't just fucking using Titan fleets this as isn't... the be all and end all of the uh, top T fleet. This isn't like a one to one. I mean, I know that, that, that was like... a very broad term, and a lot of people are going to be like, "Hang on a second, but you know what I mean. I think they should bring back Har Titans. This isn't like a one-to-one like parody buff between like bombers. I wouldn't and mind it. I missed yeah. it, and I've watching some of Ron's bombers footage of like where he'd like more... in G Magic, he'd walk to the gate and bows on a Munin fleet coming like through and like... just pick off the last stragglers and walk off again. Like it looked like it was fun. Bomb. This makes bombers better against like literally everything else in the game when they were already really. Are you gonna do a skin giveaway? Out here, like, okay, in the game? bombers also have no HP, and if you fuck up your bomb launcher, you could kill your your entire fleet. Like. That's... I don't know how you bomb your own fleet unless you're propping into your own bombs. I get. I, 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 I don't know if that's. I think like it's. A... Well, okay. Well, actually, look at it this way: when they did surgical strike, did they nerf bombs and bombers at all? No. No. So all they've really done is make bombers and bombs even more stronger than they were pre-surgical strike, because this patch yes. isn't taking everything back. It's only. I think it's what it's it's changing it from like half to like five percent difference to the way it was pre-surgical strike. I was going through the patch note. I, I don't know. I just stronger bombs. Okay. Well, it's it's more debilitating to the whalings back on the menu because <laughs> it's it's more things. It's another thing that can just wipe out fleets instantly. I mean, like, the, looking at, for example, a, uh, an armor hard You guys okay. just keep talking over each other? What the fuck? I guess Kale is Jeremy, Jeremy muted. Jeremy, if... Oh, I do. If, if you, you have... You unmute him. If you have, you like, anti... If you have, talking over each other for, like, ten minutes. It's like that. If you have anti-bomb launch, like, anti-bomb missiles, you can basically say, oh, hey, you're gonna bomb me? Uh, yep, nope, and you push That's your button, how and it works. pretty much... And how many kind of how many how many defender missiles do you need to kill a bomb with the new HP changes? One. It, it is not. A, <laughs> it is. It, is it one with the new HP changes? One. Yes. Is it still it's one? Been one. Okay. Yes, because the defender missiles are coded to do one hundred percent of a target's HP. Okay. Which means I did the not. Bomb can have one HP or one hundred million HP. That's not true, by the way. It should be, but it's not. Anyways. Hypernet time. Yep. The other the other effect it'll have is you can launch more bombs at once without having to worry about the the bombs killing each other. Because what it what somebody said in chat is the HP buff is greater than the damage buff. Correct. Yeah. That means more bombs that are doing more damage. Do you know how many more bombs? Uh one, one more. No See red line red that. stuff. It's one more bomb? Okay. One more bomb. It's it's literally one more bomber, dude. Like, come on. It's still like it is still a significant amount of damage versus a hack fleet. It is a amount that does not equalize the ten percent resists that ships are getting back. Yeah. That and hack fleets also have the uh oh Reduce I'm invincible radius, button. Yeah, yeah and it, yeah. Like I'm sorry, but if you have a way to neutralize someone's attack with one simply by pushing one button, I have no problem with them buffing someone's attack. I mean, here's the reality: battleships are getting EHP buffs from plates and extenders. Battleships are getting a buff from resistances. Bombs are getting a slight damage buff, and I think it's a reload speed or something buff, right? Which equates to like a total of like a possible like 15% increased possible damage if you do everything perfectly. Um. These are not buffs that battleships should be worried about, or any other ship should be worried about. Well, it's like fair factor in the though. resist they get back, like it almost neutralizes each other, assuming the bombers are now firing an additional bomb. Again, even with the fair fleet, like defender missiles. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. I was a little worried, but that that analysis seems to make sense to me. So. All right, what else we got? Oh, somebody says Philly's wrong. That nerfs Ferox's. So yeah. for Ferox's, if they eat a full run of bombs, then in theory, they would take like 
five percent more damage, maybe. Ten percent resists, or a ninth bomb. Is it eight bomb instead of seven, or nine, eight, nine instead of eight? I can't remember. So um, what? It, it was normally eight, so being on the nine. Where are these numbers at, by the way? Because they're nowhere, dude. What do you mean? So how do we know, like? Go on the test server. Okay. Because okay. people people did the math and they've posted it in places, and that's okay. That's fine. Just don't exactly know the places off the top of my head. At the end of the day, I really don't think we can like for surely say something's going to happen until it actually like starts happening on the test on the main server. Yeah, start uh, wildly speculating about structure changes because so, it's a month out. God bless, wow. please. Those guys in the Reddit thread complaining that Orca ro hole rolling was not going to be a thing and that they'd already injected all the characters. I just wanted to like laugh. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I explain that a little bit more. So, with the coming uh, new compression module, you're going to be able to siege the Roracle and then use that Roracle to, or as it was, I think at one point here on the test server, I can't remember. Um, but when you siege or activate your compression module, it increases your mass, which means then you you can then roll the hole really instantly, basically. Um, and obviously that was not an intended effect. And CCP's like, no, nah, if you have a siege module, compression module, whatever, on, you can't jump through a hole. And oh. Yeah, it would I be, understand. It's kind of like how people in C5 space use caps with micro warp drives to roll a hole in a single path. Carrier rollers, yeah. And are are they now angry that that CCP made a mistake and then they corrected their mistake? But they're like, "Oh, girl, my uh, my, my pre-planning and all that stuff about a bug. Gosh. I guess I can't do it like that." Okay, that's yeah. GG, get fucked. I mean, CCP fixed an error before it became an error. And they're mad. <laughs> that's amazing. They didn't amazing. live in the in the game long enough to be the standard way of doing. Things like with cap rolling. Yeah. I mean, honestly, these people could have had a realistic expectation that there would be some sort of bug. I think they should be reimbursed. For lost time. Uh, they can get fucked. This is why you don't uh, make decisions based off of something that you don't know is actually going to be in the game. Eve is the original it's... Elder Scrolls. Dying isn't a bug. It's a feature. Do you mean Dark Souls or Elden Ring or something? I like what he, he said. Bars. <laughs> I like what he said, because he said Elder Scrolls instead. And I know why he said it. And yeah, I'm with Elder him. Scrolls ha Elder Scrolls has bugs, but I've played a lot of those games, and yeah. I don't buy that much. Yeah, I, I meant Souls. It's uh, Eve was the original Souls game where dying isn't a bug; it's a feature. Yeah, man. What's the, what's the next topic besides other video games, which we usually get to at the end of the show? I mean, the uh, there's still a whole lot of patch to talk about. Like, so we've had one day into it, there's... and we were talking about how mutants are still meta, and I mean, it's only been a day, so it's. It's... These are gonna still be meta, though. Like, are they? We should do. We yes. should do PVE talk for all our PVE care bears out there. Have you guys done any compression yet? The skill books aren't accessible. I don't think there's Oof. a bug with them not being able to buy. Skill books oh. are around. I've you seen screenshots of them in NPC sites. You Blueprints. can't buy them. You can't buy. There's something you can't buy right now. Blueprints, means... buddies. Blueprints. Blueprints. Come are on. you talking about the mod, like the actual like siege module? Yes, the blueprint to make. To make the actual item to do the compression stuff is not available. Cause like I have a, uh, I have a large industrial coil. Is that like is that the thing that does the, uh, the compression? No, I believe it's a medium industrial core that does the compression. So, the way the patch notes read, you have to be in siege and within the Porpoise, Orca, or Oracle, and there are specific modules you will buy with specific related skills to use it so for example there'll be like common or compression module and then there will be like 
uncommon moon goo compression module or whatever they call it. And Why are like there so many different modules? modules. Okay, so, so, one module. so here's the better question, though. Will there be a skill goo um, pack that's released with this that will cost $50? I don't Why see can't they? it wouldn't be. Why couldn't CCP just do the easiest thing and just put it in the industrial core? Like, hey, activate the industrial core to, you know, like, activate compression. I can feel like that just would have been easy. Can a porpoise use an industrial core? Yeah. Porpoise yes. has a sage module. Yeah, they they all do. Oh, Wait, hold, I didn't hold know up. That. Wait, the porpoise has a porpoise now? Yep. The porp, the orca? The porpoise. Porpoise. The porpoise. Someone said that you can fit a siege on a porpoise now. Well, the, the industrial so, version yeah. of siege. And it gives bonuses to Indie the cool. porpoise. So it's got a porpoise now. That's great. Oh, okay. I, I just I just don't understand. Why didn't you just, like, make the compression part of the industrial core? Why does there have to be different mods? Okay. Welcome to Wave, where nothing is easy and nothing makes sense. Apparently, Pochfin uh, alls will now be compressible as well, which is going to make Good. more people eyeing off uh, the Pochfin region. Oh, uh, uh, drive mineral prices down, ironically, because that's one of the hardest things to transport in the game right now, because there's no like freighters or whatever in there. Yeah, and the highest source of uh, trit in space at the moment as well. Strabog joined RC. Cool. You. Why are you saying you? Trevlock are good people. They joined RC, which is you. Okay, yeah, but like they're again, they're good people. Greater, they're they're part of Greater Imperium Coalition. And Test is a part of Greater Horde Coalition. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So yeah, kind happy. of. You mean they've upgraded from te from Pappy Pets? Well, so so yeah, Test has, is no longer not Pappy Pets. They're just Pappy. Well, not yeah. Pappy. They're just Horde. Like at this point, Pappy's yeah. dead old man. Get with the times. Test is dead old man. Get with oh, the sorry. Times. Sorry, you gotta get over what here is, with my I, armor I, mute. What is, what is what is what does Pappy stand for? Let's engage your brain cells here. What does Pappy stand for? Pandemic Alliance, Alliance please, ignore. please ignore. So, how can Test, which makes up half of the Pappy name, also not be in Pappy? Because they're now in Horde. So technically, yeah, they're, it's just they're basically. I was I, I, I'm opening up my character sheet in game right now. Okay, uh, uh -huh. I see Test Disorderly Vagrants, Test Alliance, Pandemic Horde. Okay, so Test. But Diva's a, 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 a Kitsune Corp. What? What's wrong with Kitsunes? Not saying you have against Kitsunes. Wrong? Hey, drop your in, e -war, drop dude. your Heck drop jams. your in-game Eve names in chat right now. So I gotta I gotta ask. So you say Pappy's dead, and that Test is dead, but you just proved that Test isn't dead, so it's still Pappy. We're on some three D chess right here now. This is it's, dumb. It's not really three D. This is if you can follow. This is testing to whether or not you can follow a simple testing conversation. Path. Considering you lost a few billion playing chess, Jeremy, I, I'd suggest staying away from it. <laughs> I, have, I have a crippling gambling addiction. You can't help it. Oh, is this an AA meeting now? A Mars shuttle skin? Nice. Man, this show's really gone downhill. Of course it has. It's been it alive for first. two years. Can you believe the, that? I mean, the I mean, there is nothing happening in EVE. Ever since I, look, I mean, like, it's, it's not that hard to spike it up like the meta show. We start screaming random stuff. We start, you know, oh, I eat my ass and all that kind of jazz, you know? Like, the thing is, I mean, this isn't the meta have, show. There, there is things to talk about, talk <laughs> about this week. I do not have shouting <laughs> insults on my trash talk show. Okay, so let's be real for a moment. Okay, well, let's see. What happened this week? Cruiser's crew fed caps, Horde fed a dread, and then fed, uh, what was it? Black Omega fed armor munins. Um, my what dude, the fuck? Cruiser's crew feeding Wagster? happens all the time. Yeah, they were ha all of that was handouts. It was a great fucking fight. We got the objective. Like, I don't see a downside of it. And how no, he's I... feeding cabs to cabs. No, 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 no. My only problem Dude, is the ar no, the armor munins. That's the problem. Dude, I I, made look, I won't lie. Fit. I got handed a fucking armor unit. I'm like, what the hell is this bullshit? And then when we jammed out their entire Logi wing and started shredding Tempest, I was like, okay, auto cannon armor unit ECM. This is an interesting combo. That, that so sounds pretty memey. 
Slow Cats reinvented, essentially. Uh, what do you think Slow Cats are? Dead. Jeremy, what do you think Slow Cats are? I, I resurrected, not reinvented. No, what the the question what, still stands. Yeah, what, what do you, you what think you, a slow cats cat are, is? Slow cats are armor eagles, right? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Swag surfers. That's swag surfers. Oh my! I think it's swag uh, surfers. Okay, Jeremy. Jeremy. I I got this, Jeremy. You know how when uh, a base like. When someone hits a baseball, they can either hit it out of the park. Well, in this circumstance, you hit it right back to the pitcher and got Im- immediately struck out. I was thinking of swag surfer, not slow cats. I I, it, it doesn't make it better. It's two words that start with S that's close enough you're, in my head. You're digging yourself Jeremy, into a, into a up, much Jeremy, are deeper you, hole. Aren't you an English teacher? I'm nothing, dude, right now. Unemployed is what I am currently. That explains the gambling addiction. Yeah. It's a weird It's a weird so thing to say to that It's like armor archons Yeah there were the triage archons yeah. Back <laughs> when archons could triage So why oh, are we God. talking about slow cats? Because I, I got them confused anyway. Because Jeremy thought the Slow cats were armor they're, eagles They're boomer <laughs> doctrines for boomers Who play the game And not, not current hip up to date Kids like me who's never seen one in their I'm, life. I'm 25, my guy. I'm that doesn't make me a boomer. Okay, boomer. Boomer's a mindset. <laughs> boomer at heart. But guys, you're so, you're so bad at the game if you get tackled by a uh, fucking what's the uh, little frigate, the heron? <laughs> if you get tackled by two permatank herons, you know, in your AT ship, you're so bad at the game. I love it in the patch notes for audio. Added music and sound effects for the NPE mining adventure. It slaps. Sounds like a CCP Swift comment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brain, have you noticed that CCP Swift looks a lot like Elise? I wonder if we could get them standing next to each other to compare. You should ask them at uh, FanFest. I think they're both going. Yeah, there's an Eve meetup coming up, isn't there? I don't know. Iowa, what the saw? fuck? Iowa? I, I, I'm Australian! I don't know the name you're Oh fucking my god! Guess. How do you not know what Iowa... Okay, you know what? That's what Iowa, that, you is such, wrong that is uh, such an American-centric question. How do you not know what Ida, Iowa... Is that the one you mm-hmm. said? Well, the thing is, is many Americans use Idaho, Iowa, and Ohio, and they're not near each other. Wait, hold up. How about... What Americans do that? Because I've never actually heard of that happen. Is oh, really- I hear it all the time. Is Philly going to ask us how we don't know what none of it is? None of it is. No, I'm not going to ask because I know most of them don't, so. Isn't that part of Quebec? Exactly. It, well, yeah, but Quebec doesn't matter, so. It's not part of, part of Quebec. Can I name every Australian state? Mm, I got a package from, what was it? Queen? Actually, I actually don't know. Was it Queensland? There's NSW. Which is North South Wales. <laughs> North, North South North, Wales. North what the South God? Wales? <laughs> I can't keep like a straight a ma- face. And then like I was gonna magnet. say Perth. There's the there's a state of Perth, but it's really just like Perth's the only significant thing in this. Yeah, in no, you, you're not Australia. wrong there. Yeah, Western Australia is a fucking weird place. It is and literally Alex, just Perth and the rest of its mines, and they always want to secede from the rest of Australia. <laughs> Alice Springs. Hey, I have a Sorry, real quick say. question for you. So I was in Jita, right? On my my character that's handing out skins to people that put their character name in the Twitch chat. And I saw a hypernet offer for Golem. 25 million tickets. Stop, Red. No, no. Listen, no, it, no, 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 Listen, 25 million isk a ticket on an eight ticket hypernet. No balls, no balls. And it's it. Somebody bought it within a, within seconds. Like I looked at it and it was bought, and I didn't realize until later that somebody just sold a golem for a hundred million isk. And I said in the I said in local, I was like that was legendary. Tell me why this dude is convoying me, being like. If you think that's legendary, you need to set your goals higher. What do you mean? Tell me, that is me you're the kind of guy that would get scammed by that I, shit so easily. I, I'm sorry, but like, 
random people in Jeter, random people in, in Eve, I have just found that they're just not the brightest. I love it, man. I love it. Or and then he told me really, that really he dumb sold, shit. He Red said he Lines, sold you know how that 26 billion isk worth of um, ore for 26 million. What scam? Do I know how what scam works? The scam with the, the hypernet scam, that they fixed? Oh, Jesus. What? What's so the it's scam? common for about? people in Jita to put up contracts and instantly buy it and then have a following contract that looks like the exact same deal that people will then click on. Zeros. Yeah. Really don't this is a very that. common scam, Redline. Vili, really? I, just, I know that that's a common too. scam because I spend a lot of time in Jita, okay? But here's what's not common about that scam is that this wasn't a contract. This was a hypernet. It's the exact same thing. Like it's not. Over. What do you mean? Hypernets show red <sighs> when it's really overpriced. Like, how do you scam on the hypernet? You link one, and then you link another one. Okay, but how is it a scam? <sighs> one, oh my the god, Redline. The red second line, one please. is gonna have... Uh, like the first one's gonna look like such a good deal you're gonna be like oh shit i just missed a good deal i'm gonna click on the next one and then you click and instead of being one mil the tickets are one bill and that's how they get you it's it's a very common scam my man it's three card it, monty it, it it it's meant to create a like a what a feeling of fomo i think it is like you're you're, you're inside to be like oh god i just missed the first great deal i gotta get the second one and then you click on it and before your awareness catches up you've already clicked through and you've bought whatever product they're trying to scam you with. No, I'm pretty sure this guy just did I sold his golem for 100 mil. Sure, of course. Okay, I can't tell if you're like actually like just brain dead or you're totally trolling. He's what trolling. do you mean? I'm, I'm actually I'm not. I'm not trolling. Always a possibility that somebody made a mistake in EVE Online, which is a, yeah, a radical it's... idea. Right. Like, I'm, I'm not trolling. But just like Dax says... Just like Dax says, who doesn't look at the green versus red when checking Hypernet? Like, it's literally color-coded. It's green if it's a good deal, it's yellow if it's eh, and it's red if it's a bad deal. Like, you how say do that, you fuck that up? Because it's colors! I, I learned that when I was three! Two listen, or if, some number that's isk, below four! If isk doubling Two. scams work, you'd be surprised what works. Well, isk doubling is a completely legitimate venture. If you send Red me line, ISK, the fuck? you double back. Just send ISK to my main, it'll send okay. twice as much back to you. Guys, if you send ISK to Perfect Femboy, okay, he won't Stop. do shit. Stop it. Is that, is, that, is that you, Mike? I thought it was Zach. It's See, Zach. I almost, no, I don't almost know wanted, who it is. I almost want to send that character money because I approve of the name. So Yikes. what's the next topic besides scams? It's not so a we're scam. Gonna talk about was a meet up. Asteroid yeah. belt to look Tell at us. the new graphic changes. I cannot find an asteroid belt anywhere. You, you go to high sec and you warp to an asteroid belt. It's did, not that hard. I don't go to high sec. It's a silly you look in Jita Kale for an asteroid belt. Yeah, uh, Redline, when you're in Jita, can you check out an asteroid belt in the hypernet market for me? Okay. But... <sighs> <laughs> Is this <laughs> like... full belt spawners? I'm not is this, gonna check is this what our community belt. is is this what our is this what our communities come to we're we're looking for asteroid belts in Jita. we're going prospect they, they might be on the hypernet market i mean if if redline just missed out on a golem for a hundred mil maybe you can find me an asteroid belt for a good price are you kidding the me next... you really trying to say that that guy is trying to scam i swear to god he's an actual idiot <laughs> Like, he didn't link me anything else. He was just like, set your goals higher. This is why Pappy lost the war. Pappy didn't lose the war. Pappy won. Stop saying that. We won in a different direction. Okay, but we won in a what? different direction. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I, will, I will 100% take that. We won in a different direction. Uh, yes, Snuffed Out is still stuck. I can confirm live on stream. They have been stuck for nearly two months. And for what? I believe it was three titans, two titans and a super or something like that. That's, that's they're actually still that's stuck fair. there. There they are. 
and before they actually just... Does anyone have any evidence for like somebody like me who can't think for myself? It's just like Cratchit, Cratchit's were, right. Um, it's totally in those still, bubbles, They're guys. still using locator agents to find out where they are because yeah, obviously the they had the names from a lot of the dreads and a lot of them are still in the system when they check them each day. I think okay, there's no, like 30 here, here's 40 the... of them still there. Okay, I was going to say, what about the 1000 IQ Tau AD play where you end up just moving them and uh, the dread characters there in shuttles and logging them off there? Well, it's because uh, Frat has BJK, and he's an expert on this kind of thing. Did DC get rid of asteroid belts? I can't fucking find any. Are you Kale looking catching for up to the metaphor two, from Jeter? two years ago? I don't mind. I'm, I'm going to one of those anomaly ones to go look at the new pretty rocks. All right, well, you enjoy that. I'm going to continue giving out skins. No, no, I'm not. Nobody's oh. put their character name in chat. Fuck all of you, by the way. Put my character name in the chat. Thank you very Speaking much. Speaking of skins. Yeah, skin. yeah let's Speaking talk about skins, skins Rain. Tell us. So CCP has given us... So I, I'm hosting the Midwest meetup this uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Des Moines. If you guys are in the Midwest, you should come hang out. If you're not in the Midwest and can make it, you should come hang out. I will find the link to link it, but CCP sent over a bunch of skins as well as a bunch of swag. I'm, like, super stoked. I don't know if I'm allowed to share what we got, but it looks pretty fun. I was hoping for, like... um. Some like ball and ass, like glowing sunglasses and uh, like a dress with pockets. But they sent over some like not as elite stuff, but still pretty elite. I'm I'm super stoked. Some of it, including skins. I'm assuming they're the friendship skins, but I haven't redeemed any. I'm gonna wait till the event and just hand them out to folks. And then some other cool swag. And, and if you guys are here, the meetup this weekend, right? I mean. Yeah, the the stuffs for the meet for the meetup. We have our own swag too. Like Dominart got us stickers and lanyards and like little badges. I'm bringing over some leftover. Um, I want to say sunglasses, but they're not sunglasses. They're more like shades, like with like Alliance logos and shit on them. Delana's coming up here too. I don't know if she'll have Horde swag, but we're gonna be doing karaoke Friday night dinner and karaoke, and then Saturday we're going to Smash Park, which is just like a little. I don't know if you call it like an adult arcade, not an arcade, but like adult game things like shuffleboard things like that. And he's he's not Dom's not here right now, but he's helping me organize it. And then Friday night we're probably gonna do obviously dinner again. And then we're debating like the casino or maybe getting into some shenanigans with like going to a dance club or something like that. And Sunday's the chill recovery day. I'm gonna bring bakery goods for everyone. We have a ball and ass bakery in my hometown. Extra squishy is joining the chat. Hello, squishy. Hey, hey. I finally found a rock. Nice. How was it? Um, it doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like a geode that's been cracked open. It looks nifty. This we is tried some high quality it? content. Has oh, Jeremy yeah. said anything stupid yet? I'm oh, here. Cool. I don't know. Oh, Mav, yeah, he muted Bob. Mav, we need a we need a Jeremy's level five hype movie? train. Mav, uh, Jeremy says something beginning. stupid today. God, why I is got... your mic always so loud, Gurg? Fuck me. I got slow cats Ooh. and swag surfers confused. He thought I, I have a question. What's your question? Why am I banned in your chat, Rain? Damn. What? That's very rude. Nobody's banned in my chat, but good I'm try. In your chat. No. Screen choice question. I literally I'm purged unbanned. my ban list oh, and I banned shit. one dude who used my real life name and I then I banned know. like three bots. I was bad. But since you're bad. apparently following me, you'd know that if you watched my Twitter. Damn, you guys banned Zach? I Who was... fucking looks on Twitter about Eve? Like, gotta be honest, Twitter is there for other purposes. I literally use all of we my social media Twitter. through Twitter. I fucking love this name. The devs Piranha tweet Pinata. all the fucking time as well. About to say Twitter is, like, even worse than Reddit. I'm not saying that to diss anyone. Twitter. Because you can post gifs in reply to people's dumb tweets. And you can ratio them as well. That's worth it. Squishy, I thought you were winning Eve, bud. I am. I can still talk about it. Still fucking thirsting after I mean, you. Look, I'm Christ. pretty sure everyone in this chat doesn't log on and we still talk about Eve. What are you <laughs> on about? I'm literally test's number one pilot for the week, buddy. Oh, dude, that's you like are, saying yeah. you're like the best rat in the fucking diplomacy. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey. So... Squishy, since you're here, you quit Eve very publicly. Uh-huh. 
Why did you do that? I mean, they've got to get the views on the Twitch. Yeah, I was about to say, like, everyone likes... Attention. Left. Exactly. Attention? Attention? I mean, I mean attention if, is great, but if, you're if gonna, it's from a bunch of EVE people, like... I, if you're gonna quit a game, why not try to monetize it? Like... What if they don't want to watch you play Among yeah, Us with your wait, friends? Wait, hang on. Kare Marie, you lately suggesting he RMTs? No, I think he means, like, getting subs and shit, right? Uh... Yeah, you know, like, monetization. That was my most viewed stream this year. Isn't that sad? No, because I I stream Eve. Or I did, Oof. rather. <laughs> not, not anymore. No one gets fucking views when they stream Eve, then. It's, it's, it's true. So, why hey, did you leave? I'm pretty sure uh, the massive message that we've all seen was the reason why. I didn't see the message. What message? Well, really? till the R is for like the past two years, my game style has just been so shit. Because like everything, like with the risk adversity that's just sprung into Eve, everything getting expensive and it not being able to make any money, like Blob Warfare has just become the meta now. Like, and that's even just like, oh, you see a dude in a stabber, let's form a harpy fleet to kill him. And that's not even, like, false. I literally was watching goons earlier, and they pinged, like, a ten-man harpy fleet to go kill a Kikimura. Oh, God. And that's, like, that's something that actually happens. Yeah, I can confirm that. They blobbed my small gang earlier. Outside of, outside you fucking of tackled the Oracle, bud! Nah, nah, we did no <laughs> such thing, dude. I didn't say uh, DPS uh, on the rock. I can confirm that Tez did not tackle the rock all. Yeah, Trust it was stuffed me. out. Oh, I can that's confirm actually why Tess they giga formed. Anything, then. Hey, Squishy, remember that time when we were playing Among Us and I just walked back past you while you were <laughs> oh, noticed? Oh, shit. Was that you? Fuck yeah. Shit, I remember that, dude. I, you know why? I had never played Among Us before, and I had no idea what to do. I like that that's still digging into your soul, and you had to get it off your chest now, dude. That was like seven months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was more than a year ago. <laughs> People don't play Among Us as often as they used to, but it's still fun. So we should have a cesspool game of Among Us one day. Yeah, we, really did, watched you play that? we did that. We well, did that when the game first came out. Like we did that for like um like two months. We did that new map come out day. yet? Dude, heaps have come out. There's new maps. There's like new game modes. There's like new uh fucking bad guys. Like I saw one of them where you could change your color into another person to try to like yeah, pull blame on. The original game was made by like three dudes, if I recall. And yeah. like, all of a sudden they became like multi millionaires off their game. And all of a sudden they got to hire like a couple other people and they went to town like upgrading the game. That's cool. Wow. It's like the Flappy Bird dude. Fucking Flappy Bird. Um, so Thanos was a good guy, said or was a good guy, says in the chat that he can confirm and double check the Pan Fam blob as hard as goons. Bushy, is that true? I'm Everyone sure you've been blobbed blobs, by blobs. Dude. Everyone Okay, blobs, but who it's blobs a, worse? A... Horde. Fuck. Um, dude. Oh. Horde has a standing fleet thing, though. They don't like because, ping fleets. It's more like a yeah, standing like, thing. Yeah, that's the thing. They're all on fucking comms, giggling to each other, and as soon as they see a streamer <laughs> in the area, they all just start going, Oh! Oh, God! There's a fuck streamer! And they clamor over each other, running the jump bridges out of jump fuel until they can kill you. <laughs> no, it's they run slices jump bridges out of fuel. <laughs> they don't run so their own good. bridges out of fuel. They run another alliances. Eric... Cringe gag. Hey, dude, it's a great place to be if you don't want to play the game. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Gerg, I, I, I want, I want to challenge so, you. Yeah, Fort think about... Gage is also a great place to be if you don't want to play the game. I've heard. Where, yeah, where is? Confirmed, dude. Fort you can tell by my kill board being uh -huh. so empty. Damn. Why are you being mean, Jeremy? See, those yeah, don't dreads aren't me, those dreads are trapped in Fort Cage because they're never going to use those dreads anyway. So they're just that priest. We already biomassed and rerolled, dude. Good. You can't just re-roll, dude. What the fuck? Just sell the characters to me. On D&D. 
Or, or just or Mary Turn and Jag, dude. What are you, poor? Or better yet, you uh, you just let them sit there for like six months, and then you ask CCP to move them. No, what you actually... What you actually do is you Baphone test Horde and Volta, and they come and get you out. Why the fuck would you Baphone test? Uh, because I had my super trapped at one point. And I, mean, as, uh... I think there's some high sec PI groups that might get some more numbers than that then. Oh. Let's be clear though, clearing bubbles on a keep grid where they can sky nut super fighters is a lot different than clearing bubbles on a gate that they haven't even... Nah, Zach, we're yet. the super capital breakout specialists, alright? Yeah, well, throwing munins at it doesn't make you a specialist. More, more as the, uh, N plus one, baby. As one of the premier bubble poppers uh, in chat at the moment, me and Malachi are not above bribery to uh, come and try to break them out. Yeah, it, it it's easy to break out. You just have to use 400 dreads. Do you know how fast you, can... you will die if you go and try to break them out? Like, what do you yeah, think? You're some sort of Rambo Wolverine person? Don't tell him, Redline. Just, you guys message you and, you and your game You and your best you friends aren't going to go and Free snuffed out from 4H. <laughs> Who says we're not? The Who the fuck we, says if we we're not? The if we get the You're boys together, we're free. And I'm yeah, dead. if Pappy You're works right. with Test, if um, Test, sorry, if Pappy works with Goons, we can have Imperial Pappy, and we can go and break them out, and there's nothing the, Frank can do. Summon the Avengers. Yeah, I feel dude. Like if, I feel like if Imperial you guys Pappy do realize Fraternity together. was with Pappy, right? Whoa. Shut yeah. up, Rain. Don't ruin it. <laughs> the P stood for Panda Fam, not just Pan Fam or Pandemic. Yeah, but yeah, that was it was Pandemic cool. Alliance. We talked about this earlier. No, it's Panda Fam. Panda Fam Alliance, please ignore. Yes. I'm not sure you can say that Frat was in Pappy when they didn't turn up at the end at all. They and did. They turn were the up. first ones to jump out yeah. of M2 yes, yes, and of some other bits and pieces. In... The bet say they showed up just in. Chinese time zone. Hey, no, yeah, not even look. As that someone who reported, that's still one of my like, that's still one of my like laughable oh, shit, memories. Really is shit, during dude. the MT M2 breakout, and we're all like logging in. Everybody's like, "All right, we're all staying together until we kill all these bubbles." Frat Titans just start jumping in. Everybody's like, "Frat, what Norris? What the fuck's going on?" It's like, "What? I don't see nothing. Nothing happening." More Frat, <laughs> more Titans are jumping in. What's going on? No, 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 it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frats, frats just having, like, yeah, we know how to do this. We're getting the fuck out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nora having reported on the part man, all the side and seeing like 1100 fucking fraternity show up for that and barely getting a fleet and delve. Like, if we had those numbers, we would have won the war. Uh, like maybe. Maybe. But, no, but, but that's not really realistic. But you know, Frat can only pull those numbers every once in a while, right? Like, just like any yeah. Did yeah, you but one of those Asbel drops, if they pulled those numbers and one of those Asbel drops, it would have changed the whole ending. Would it? I don't think it would have. We had an opportunity to get an Asbel down, I think. You know, when they warped the so, super over there and they fed caps yeah, for as, us. As much as I want to talk about Pappy and the war, I'd, rather, the war. I'd rather talk about Squishy. Because True. Squishy... Like, so, what? you... What? So the whole, like, your biggest complaint was that too many people came to fight you. Do you just not no, like to not the fight with a bunch of people? His complaint was risk aversion. Blobbing yeah. is what you said. You said so, blobbing. Okay, so let me, let me put this into perspective, right? The yeah. average stream for me, which is very much the only time I played EVE outside of Mike Pod's martial law fleets, would consist of me taking either a T1 cruiser out or a Hecate, right? And I would spend about three hours roaming from gate to gate, warping and seeing Ishtar's landing on a Fortazar, and I would jump into a bubble with a, like a carries or something and die. Like, okay. what part of that is fun? Was there I mean, a time when this used it. to be different? Like, how long have you played yeah. Squishy? I was playing in 2011. Okay, so you like... And I so... never remember having to, like, search for kill mails back then. That sounds like an entirely different game that is actually fun, damn. It has changed a lot over the years. The Copium finally ran out. Damn. There's Copium and then there's Truth and then there's Untruth, right? The problem is, pieces of dude, what you say dude, are correct. Billy, please tell us about Untruths, dude. You seem to be a master, dude. Oh, God. Whoa. Sure. 
Uh oh. So, I I mean the reality is Eve has always been a game where people have been risk averse. That's not something that's fundamentally changed. What's changed over time? Worse. Sorry, say again. No, I was saying it's always been like that, but it got way worse after all these changes. Correct. So what's changed over time is a couple big things that have affected roaming. First off is the advent of filaments, which actually were designed to help roaming. But what it did is it took a lot of the concentration of PvP away from the pipes and created a system where those those kind of centralized PvP hubs, I guess you could say, were moved directly to the stagers. Uh, because instead of camping the pipe for your entrance pipe to you know nullsec and mo or p3 or the areas around there um, you had a situation where now people would literally just fill them into the region and they would go to wherever the concentration was which is usually the staging systems and since the staging systems are so much more uh, people and ship dense you create a situation where um, how do I put this? Like the, the people in those areas are just much more prepared, much more likely to react aggressively towards PvP situations. As well, the people behind those uh, PvP borders, the, the entrances to Nulsic, etc., traditionally were much more. Uh, how do I put this? They they were more sheep, I, I guess you could say, the the, sh the wolves and the sheep kind of thing. Uh, and over time, what's happened now is because the, the filament has created a situation where there's always roamers in your space much more, it creates a situation where those sheep have become increasingly more and more accustomed to that and have learned and adapted and grown and are much more capable of handling uh, defense in their space. And traditionally, when people handle defense in their space in EVE, they want to use the tools that are most effective in achieving their goal which in this case is usually to get the people out of their space, right? So they're going to use the methods that are the most aggressive to do so. Also, can we just take a little bit of time to uh, realize that everything that the Matani said about, well, not everything, but the part no. where the Matani said that, uh, you know, Horde is just going to absolve a bunch of test corps. Absolve? You absorb. Absolve absorb, is a yeah. different word. Okay, like, we were talking we... about something else, dude. Like, shut the fuck up for a sec. So do you agree with everything <laughs> I said there, uh, Squishy? See, it's a bit different, right? Like, yes, like... I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's the only thing, right? But I'm saying yeah. that's a, a first building block of what's happened, right? Filmless were definitely like a double-edged sword because at the start, people weren't prepared for it. And as, like, they've been out for so long now, they definitely did get better at preparing, like, defensive and, you know, being faster to, like, warp over and defend someone. But again, without filaments, like... You say people were prepared in these regions. What you mean is they would gate camp the shit out of them. Correct, but once you got past like, those gate camps, imagine trying to came get into R one O. Like, there's two permanent points where you can get through R one O, and most of them you'd have to go through one S tech, and they would camp the hell out of it, and they'd see you coming from like twenty jumps away. Yeah. So I kind of prefer post filaments to before filaments were out. Plus, it made it so like people were never ready because you could always just warp in and just jump into a system where no one's really normally roams. I, I mean, I don't disagree with that assessment, uh, but I'm just saying that like over time, that has been a key piece of the roaming meta shift. Um, yeah, the thing that I've always stated to... I've been saying this to devs for like the past nearly two years now, is you need to give people a reason not to warp out immediately in your Ishtar. Because this, this, like, if a, a neutral comes into local, there is absolutely no benefit to you staying in that site in your Ishtar. Like, you're just Correct. Die. I, I agree. Um, like, even I, if there's a guy I, I in the know... shuttle, you don't wait to find out what it is. You just warp off immediately. No, I 100% I, I agree. And I remember talking about, I don't know, somebody suggested it to me or we suggested it to CCP, but uh, the proposal to have... Uh, bounties drop in the form of tags instead of... This was the idea I brought to Gobbins. Okay, so I'm yeah. glad that he actually did talk to people about this. I said to him, I was like, half of the bounty payout for the site should be in the final rat kill mail, and it should drop as a can that you can't track to be. You have to actually go and loot it. That yeah, way, I... if say, let's say I... An enraged mechanic would be interesting as well. Like, let's say I warp in in my Munin, and I push an Ishtar out of a site, and he's almost finished it, right? I can then just finish the site and get half the bounty payout as a, just a drop. Uh, unfortunately, though, 
the reality is it's almost always going to be better for the ship to still warp out because the Ishtar is only worth a 5% value of the site usually or a 10% or you know yeah, what I mean? I mean it, and at the same time the Ishtar knows that anything that's coming to kill it is almost always going to be able to in a situation where like yeah there, there, it, it can choose to fight back I mean, but it's Ishtar almost can... always going to lose right? And it's, no that is that is wrong and Ishtar will normally win in most 1v1 situations because that ship is just like really fucking strong I've like it has no issues kills. tracking anything. Like you can just kill. Hey, that's a like there's a Kikimori killing you. Well, luckily your heavy drones can catch up to him and track him. Sure, but it, in most cases, thing, <clears throat> like this is something I said before, right? Is that blackout would have been great if they had introduced like a four hundred percent bouncy payout increase during blackout. Like, could Actually, you imagine they that? Do that as a meta liminal storm that goes around. Increasing bounties, well, but, do blackout ever again, dude. but blacking that, out the system. The, the storm effects don't work effectively like that. The storms are too small and the effects are too marginal. An IHUB upgrade would be cool. Like to turn off local for like I, the I mean, entire the constellation you, 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 or something. The, the problem is you have to factor in people's realistic. Um, yeah. How do you say this? What they're realistically going to do, right? If if you make it an yeah. upgrade, most people aren't going to do that upgrade, or they're going to do it and then do it in specific areas where they can control the entrances, etc. Like yeah, okay. that's true. People are are naturally risk averse, so you need to create situations where there's sufficient reward uh, to equalize the risk, so that you can create dynamic choices. Right? That, that's the the real difficulty, and, and it's such a a complex uh, balance that you know CCP is always struggling with it, and you know they, they've tried multiple things, be it the ESS, be it um, changes what to I... bounty mechanics in the DBS, etc. Like th they're trying what they can. It's just it's such a complex uh, equation. What I just wish CCP would have done would have been to hey hey it's 2022 now. Here is our roadmap for what we're working on. Because no one has any idea, like, like this patch that came out, they announced it, like, what was it, like, four weeks ago? And then yep. the patch came out of the battleship changes. Yeah, but, like, they can't announce uh, all this stuff working, right away. No, like, they, they, they can't say, say hey, they're working on the ship balancing and just leave it very vague. I mean, they could, right now, but they like, literally they're... released like concept art of angel titans like a decade ago and it's still a thing yeah but like well i mean that very obviously put working, to the back right? like, i mean now like right now they could be like hey next quarter we're going to be doing this because they are going to be doing it because they're already working on it now like as you guys are all players what the hell is coming out next for eve online structure changes they said that was gonna come in april they said that they're going to do blueprints. Like they did a big yeah, like that's roadmap. Just core, right? uh, it was more general terms. I think it was like more towards like winter season, fall season. Jesus. So you say, if dude, if that's true, then holy shit! I'm glad I left. Well, structure changes that's are their in entire April. year of patches in that post. Like that's the road to fan fest, right? So it's got to be this quarter. Well, it could be it could be like what they're going to do this quarter, and then what's going to happen like after Fan Fest, like the next quarter. Like they're not going to play oh, their we, games all at once. We so, still so. have the Citadel changes, right? I'm not going to oh. say when anything is or what. There will be stuff. No, no, before, no. Before no, no. there'll be stuff before Fan Fest. There'll be stuff after Fan Fest, right? Like. Pog. So I would hope that there'll be patches after <laughs> Fan Fest. <laughs> you mean they're <laughs> going to continue okay. to develop the video hey, game? <laughs> Hold hold up hey, with the stipulation again, after says after uh, yeah guys with... breaking news there is going to be patches after this one hey now you heard it here first I mean that's if the game's still alive like let's be real it's oh, he made, they he normally made announce game, something geez. closer to fan fest so then that way people can start talking about it and share their feedback at fan fest that's cool yeah. has anyone so... done any battleship fleets yet. I've been doing them for the past yeah. few months. Yeah, no, today with the new changes. I did oh, a paladin fleet and it made people very upset. We, today? Uh, 
No, don't have to work all day. What are you talking about? I said, I said today, right? Well, like two days I, ago is today. I I did one today. Didn't the patch come out today? I, yeah, that's why yes. I'm asking. Yeah. I uh I literally was out earlier today in a battleship. It doesn't fleet. count when you just drop a fax on everything that moves. I wasn't even seeing. Shut. Yeah, that's Eve Online. Suck my cock. It was a low sec fight. Yikes! Okay. Holy shit! Wowzers! Yikes! Blob mentality at full work here. What? Literally killing Eve. Standard blob. I'm 18, bitch. Well, How does people have to do are anything? Right now, then. Do you need to go and list or uh, something like that next? How I many people did. are logged in? Dude, I'm How's that little pass, no, Jeremy? 16,000. Oh, uh, thousand. Oh, Sorry, wait. Jeremy, you want to learn how to position a sino correctly? Oh, what? shit. What did Jeremy do wrong? I mean, do you want a fucking list of that? Yeah, yeah good that's, that's a very broad topic. What, what, what sino did Jeremy misposition? Just, okay, we can just list his employment history, and that's a good list right there, dude. Monkers. Why are you banning people in the chat so much, dude? What is this shit, dude? It's hilarious. Mods, mods, mods. Can I get unbanned? I didn't even do anything. There's right. that massive paragraph that's addressed to you, Squishy. I stopped reading halfway through if you want to answer it. Huh? There's a paragraph there. Someone. Oh. You want me to read it to you? Someone sent the paragraph oh, can, in the I chat for Let's you. Let's cut to the chase, people. Why is nobody asking the important questions? Squishy, Eve is Eve and it is what it is. You mean to tell us that you decided to quit and didn't have anything to do with you being denied? An Eve partner? The time frame is suspiciously coincidental. And here we are, after being what? done with Eve on an Eve talk show. You think everyone is happy about the changes that are or aren't implemented? This is more about your ego than anything else, period. Holy okay, shit. hang on, hang on. Hang on. How is this suspiciously coincident? The fucking Eve partnership got declined like what? six what? fucking months ago, dude. What about hey, your what CSM you decline? The CSM that decline? was like four months ago, wasn't it? When was the last CSM? No, that, that was, was like... eight years ago. That was like eight yeah. months like, ago. How is this suspicious time, man? The, the, the idea like that someone... History, dude. The idea that someone can't just quit Eve because they're not having fun. Oh no, it has to be some suspicious. Like, this is... All right, look, okay. This Let is why the down, Eve man. community can actually just be the most just infuriating thing because they come they, they can't just take the answer that makes the most sense they have to go True. into this whole like bullshit of oh well you see this time actually and i think it's suspicious it's not sus dude see, let's be like, he just right. didn't want to fucking play the game oh, holy shit partnership is just like a cheap way for streamers to get viewers right they just put giveaway in their title and it's like boom i've got more viewers now dude. but i still had more viewers than most of them anyway so i didn't really give a shit after that like, what does the stream Eve partnership actually give you? It that sounds like games? super jealous. Super jealous. I mean, why yeah. did you get denied, partner? Oh, because I'm toxic, dude. That's why. Yikes. Yeah, because you're Wait, toxic. The entire game the has, like, the <clears throat> most toxic player base. Like, there's Wait, literally songs see? about, like, hardening the fuck up Wait and then second. not yeah. making someone a partner because <laughs> toxic? of toxicity. Uh, That's fucking dumb, dude. See, now, That's Rain not what HGFU uh, about. Say, see, Rain is saying this in a very condescending tone, which is really funny. Yeah, it's fun being bitchy to people. Yeah. Sorry. I know. That's why. Yeah, it's your natural fucking I'm state. not actually sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> But yeah, like, the thing is, right, we can't all just stream, like, keep Star on box and just... Dude, like, I, made, I had so many music. viewers on that. Don't diss the keep Star stream. <laughs> Dude, there was like fucking 200 people watching that bitch get blown up. But yeah, the real, the real story is, is, right, is that Eve became a job for me, right? And it was making me my rent. And I no longer needed to stream Eve to pay my rent, so I immediately stopped. Like, that's the till the R. Like, I wasn't enjoying it because it wasn't a game anymore. Wait, to clarify, you mean paying your rent because of Twitch, not because of RMT, right? Yeah. Hey, Bull Utah okay. moment. I just want to make sure. <laughs> no, no, listen, that's a good point to clarify. But, like, yeah, like, it's absolutely true, right? Like, when you play Eve to the point where Eve becomes a job, and there are many people in this room and people listening to this, this chat who know exactly what you're talking about, Eve is just not. How do I put this? Eve has the the exact amount of monotony that makes it a terrible job, but if it's something you're doing while you're passionate about for a bit, it, it's great fun, right? But it, it'll absolutely drive the the, the is, life out of you. Like 
EVE Online is also a pretty shit game to stream because there's so much downtime in the game. Oh, EVE is one of the worst games. I, I can't think of many games that are worse than like, EVE. I streamed sure. Lost Ark earlier today and I was just thinking like, unironically, I said this on my stream today. One of the things that made me quit EVE was uh, playing Genshin Impact. Because I played that game and I realized, holy shit, this is what a game is like that's not trying to scam me out of my money. Yeah. I, I remember playing Final Fantasy XIV for the first time like two or three years ago and I'm like, wow, this is a good game. I find that really interesting. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> I actually came to EVE because I was finding like I couldn't get the enjoyment out of like other games. Like They just didn't hold my attention span for long enough. Well, I think about... Eve never held my attention span either. Whenever I was playing it, I would have a second monitor up and I'd be watching YouTube or something else. Like, it was a great background game while you talk to your friends. Yeah, like, the social even... element of Eve is pog, I think, for sure. The things I mean, that I, make I... Eve strong are the, the... 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 how do I say this? The permanence of your actions, right? Like, I do something, it affects a real gal or, you know, a real environment, and those effects are permanent, right? It doesn't matter if you get another piece of gear that's gonna go away next patch or any of this. That, like, that's that's the thing that makes Eve, in effect, special, right? Uh, and, and... I disagree with that. That's like you're right, but I like as a zoomer. What do you think makes Eve special? As a zoomer, that's not what like I'm in the game for. I don't know. Like, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. I play because. Uh, it's like fun and like I can try hard and like the the meta game is really insane. Um, but most of those elements made are true. With... Special was it was effectively like an RTS where every unit was a player. Yeah. Like there's not really any other game. Like, yeah. Like a five hundred man space battle. Yeah. But just don't go over that, otherwise. Damn, players, dude. Just... Sorry, we got gifted subs. Oh shit. Yeah. Can I get on banned from chat now? No. Um, if you're banned, you're from not chat, banned. Maybe you should learn your lesson. He I'm is banned. Out. I can't. He's... I cannot type. Uh, what's your name? Anyways, moving on from oh, no. the obviousness. No, there's a good here. So, Where's you know, the segue? part of the the passing of you know that torch and the survival of etc. The current player count is around sixteen thousand. And at the same time, one of the main reasons we know it's going to stay quite low for at least the next while is the ongoing political situation in the world. And obviously, CCP has recognized that, and they put together a new campaign, a new Plex for Good, to try and do at least a little bit well, of that's good. That's going to make a lot of people quit, dude, I think. I saw a lot of comments on my Reddit post saying that they were just waiting for the next Plex for Good event until they could quit the game, too. So oh, to dump all their Plex awkward. and go? Huh? To dump all their plex and go? Yeah. It's very unfortunate they did that after I quit, dude. Otherwise, that's where I would have sent my fucking money. Yeah. You still, could you still? Or did you give it no, all away? I gave it Because you had a second stream where you gave it all away. I'm still playing this game, dude. I did a giveaway stream for the free viewers. And then I gave the rest to all my friends that are still playing the game. This is my first Plex for Good event. Can someone like TLDR it? Like, yeah. Send Plex, to the, and they send Plex to the character in the money. news article. CCP gives it to charity. That's cool. It's also Why worth noting that? it's worth noting that you cannot scam in Plex for Goods, so therefore if somebody tries to imitate the character, do anything like that, they will be harshly punished and CCP will help get whatever Plex you were trying to send to them actually to them. So That's do good. not scam do not scam for this, do not try to like sleaze your way from plexing from people, etc. Dude, what kind of fucking person does that? <laughs> so how does Plex for Good actually like give money to people? So like, do every Plex on, money, right? You every Plex, Plex in the game CCP, represents CCP a gives the money to the the charity. Yeah. That's so every cool. Plex in the game represents a uh, a credit, I guess you could say, on CCP's balance sheet. So you know, five hundred Plex is equal to like fourteen dollars owed in game time or whatever, right? So oh, we just, got the hype train going. Uh, okay, so. They just utilize that amount of so there is money that is removed. Eve than there is playing Eve right now, then. Say again, sorry? There's more people playing DayZ and Seven Days to Die and VR Chat than Eve Online. That's because yeah, DayZ is a better okay, and... game. Mm, so, so basically, no. like, 
so Plex for Good is actually like a legitimate thing instead of like, oh, we're just getting a uh, a bunch of money so that we can then fund people's accounts. Got it. Yes, because they've yeah. already got the money. They've got the Plex. They get the Plex. They sell the Plex. They get the money. It, that we that's how Plex, it works. We sell the Plex. We get the money. Yeah, yeah so exactly. They're, that's how it works. They're reverse arm team. So, I, mean, I thought you yeah, weren't coming. Yeah, I thought you weren't coming too, Pat. You said you, said you Sorry, had things had to, to do. To make things spicy, so Did I, you get off your leash, dude? Off my leash? No, that's I was it. doing IRL stuff. Hold, hold up, Sp um, spicy, spicy. Dude. You can't oh, talk, you can't talk unless stuff? you ask Alterari. Remember, you gotta yeah, PM Alterari. Right. I gotta DM Alterari. You, had, so, you had some too. IRL stuff going on? Oh, some so yeah, some yeah, leash-related stuff? For us. Berg, your mic is so loud. Fix it, or just, just delete yourself. Down. Wait, actually, I don't. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Matt's calling people pets, telling people to have leashes, and now he's. I right, do. It's time, time for you to go. <laughs> I mean, no. It's time. I mean, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's time to stay out, Matt. You're toxic. All right, I'm wait, just. Wait, I'm just if, gonna what say. If, what if? What if wearing a leash is his kink? I mean, I'll, I'm king, just I'll saying, king shame him. I'll king least, shame him. At least my alliance isn't dead. Did okay. you just call Spicy a furry? Test yes. isn't dead. I'm the number one test pilot for this week, That's buddy. You're the only test pilot. This, That's so not you, true. There's nine so others, you say at that. Least. So <laughs> at least you say others. that, right? You say that you're the top test pilot, and you think that that sounds like test is alive? Yeah, no, dude. No, no. That's that's a thriving that's... alliance. Wait, and, and I, I stated this the other day that we need to reverse the statement, right? Test is alive and prospering, right? Like, the more we say that... Dude, we have four times as many active characters than you, uh, sp Spicy. I would hope You're... so. You have 11,000 people in your alliance. Yeah, so but we also, really have a, we also have a lot of crabs and AFK people and... Heroes also people a much... That are, people that are joining Horde. Heroes yeah. also a much well, newer alliance question mark and yeah, how old so is you your should alliance? have a, so a much more active ratio of uh, active to inactive characters. We do though. Uh not really. Like good. one one eighth is not that great. Uh, we don't have one eighth, but that's fine. Yeah. The the real point is is that we're not feeders and you're basically a feeder alliance that's glorified. We're not a feeder alliance. History. Oh, you are. I mean, like, We're how many? How many corps? Have, how many? How many corps have left for horde? I don't know. More than really you probably have in your entire alliance. Hold on. Hold on. Who's? How many corps have left for horde? I don't count because Do I don't care. I think Wait, it's like ten-ish. Oh, 10? I don't know. Okay, so in those ish, are like what? I don't know. No, that's not true. No, no. And you're sleeping on their couch. No, you're sleeping on their couch. But the trade-off is now Spicy you're saying something slap. louder Dude, than somebody you, else and uh, saying it over somebody else it doesn't make it true. Spicy, you realize? No, you realize? You realize? No, no, no. Yikes! You realize the test owns the solve, dude. Test owns the solve. I don't see any horde I hubs there or DCs, dude. We're not running. No, Redline, you can't. Are y'all gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah we're good, dude. We're good. Dude, that, does anyone else get reminded of when uh, Shattered used to come oh, in God. here? Please don't <laughs> talk about Shattered him. needs no. to come in here because he's going to evade OP because Tess doesn't have anybody in their face. I wish he fucking would. I wish him motherfucker would. What are you going to do? Form 10 people and go fight Brave? I no, they're just going to bat for Throne Horde. You can't rip him to Izeta in your alliance. You're going to oh, die with it, like next month or two. Okay. We're going to die in the next month or two? So yeah, I'm you're just gonna, gonna be dead before we disband. I promise you. Like Tess will be dead. Tess, Tess will be dead. IQ three hundred disbanding. Did anybody else hear that? Okay, so I just want to point out this. When are you disbanding? Like, uh, after Tess dies. So the sooner Tess, Tess dies, the sooner we Tess is a thriving alliance, dude. What alliance is he in? Hero Coalition. Exactly. Who? Who the fuck is that? Exactly. exactly. That's that's how Wait, I why like are you things. Exactly. Is that like the dread bomb? Like. Yeah, it's like it's one of wait, two? I thought there was like what? three. 
Spicy, you have reticulated lies. Your t days are numbered. I just said that, guy. Well, hey, and Pittsburgh uh, I... joined PL, so, like, where are we gonna Pittsburgh go with that? Pittsburgh is punked, dude. Can't Pittsburgh has killed, killed, killed every Pittsburgh. alliance he's uh, joined. No, 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 no. He's hey, no, come on, man. He can't kill what is dead, hello? Yeah, he can't kill exactly. PL. He doesn't like, get you to can't kill, that You can't kill yeah. what's not relevant, so, like... Okay, you, you, gotta, you gotta remember, PL lost a fight to two marauders and some curses the other day, so... All right, hey, can I just on. say that this is like the third time that someone has said that Hero's going to die and like the last multiple times they've said it's going to die and put a time frame on it. It just has never happened. So like, okay, so just die. Yeah, people keep saying the same about like, tests, keep but talking we're still shit. not dead. Take it to Reddit and we'll see what happens, dude. Oh, <laughs> why would I post on fucking Reddit? Like, I, I don't know. You'll get I got online. linked that stupid fucking thread all weekend with headliner dropping Wait, on people. I didn't get it. Reddit still? Can you link me that thread? I couldn't find it. Oh my I god, dude! I tried to find it. To my night. DMs like ten times. Yikes! So the well, only thing not in your DMs, Rain. So he needs the only bread. the only I thing Reddit's good for is to laugh at people screaming into the void at nothing about dumb things that probably shouldn't be screamed about because they're. I can't say those words on this what, stream. What, what are you on about? I'm saying Reddit's he's, the he's dumbest fucking Reddit's thing that ever exists. He Here says Reddit moment. is dumb, and it's yeah, funny. Which, which because no one can dispute Hero because it is. is dumb too. Dude, see, the funny thing is, right, is the first two letters of Reddit are the first two words of the word you were going to say. Oh my god. Yeah, That's realistic. Hey, Spicy. Jeremy's gonna feed slow cats against to your alliance. What the fuck is a oh, slow cat? How do you like know? a cat that's kind of chonker, so it waddles yeah, a little like slower than the other It's an old lord he coming. <laughs> yeah, what? That sounds fun, Jeremy. When are you gonna come? You guys are fucking ate up. Dude, I swear to God. This is why Pappy Shout lost. Pappy won. Shut the fuck up. Uh, clearly, clearly, Pappy won. We didn't want Delve anyway. Test is dead. Test is no. dead. Test, Test is dead, dead. because we have Horde is thriving. If if, okay, if we're dead, Heroco is dead too because we have you're more. Comparing, you're comparing, than you're comparing, hold on, you're comparing your 11,000 man yes. alliance, right? Your 11,000 yes. man alliance that can form 30 man fleets. Yes. So Heroco, which is 768 yes. people or maybe a little bit less, uh, that can also form 30 man fleets. So I'm, I'm quite confused. Yes. yes. On your, your definition of dead. Yes. Or, we're also a lot older than you. We acquire some bloat over time, you know? And we yeah, form uh, more than 30 man fleet. You need because your uh, metabolism I, uh, slows down, dude. I, yeah. I did a move up the other day. Actually, no. Yeah, um, doing doing that, a move up to wait, Horde. Jer Jeremy did a move up. That means Test has to be alive. That I mean, that means, you, means he's joining Horde. <laughs> that means have you seen how many move ops that Test was doing in, in the war? If they're starting to do those move ops now, then they have to be alive. Like yeah, they're gonna invade Delve oh. again. Wait for it. Oh shit, dude. Nah, dude. Uh, well, have we talked about the fact that games are deploying? Actually, they are. Mm -mm. No, they're not. They're we not haven't. Good. All right. Wait, wait. We're deploying. <laughs> Come. Do not. Do not Fake listen dude, to your dude. town halls, dude. The Jeff is deploying. Dude, I'm gonna be straight up. For the past two weeks, I've done nothing but play Total War and drop marshals on people. Like that's Cringe. about it. Yeah, so oh, goons damn, are deploying. Dude. He's got a they... marshal. He's a gangster. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I was playing Tarkov and like waging war against fire. Which... I can't. No, I actually can never get a game in Tarkov. It's why I literally will sit in the queue for like an hour. What do you mean? Sounds like a skill problem. I just uninstalled. Yeah, me. true. Skill Sounds issue. like you should just fucking put your servers on an actual, you know, good servers. Oh no, I'm I'm too busy invading. Put your servers on an actual good servers. Thank you for that insight, spicy. You're welcome. I don't know what servers he plays on, or if he's playing, like, random servers, so... so can, can we talk about the fact that games are deploying? Yeah, where are they headed to, Mav? If you want to talk about it, tell uh, us. Hopefully Outer Passage <laughs> will finish okay. off the I wish a motherfucker would. Passage. I wish a motherfucker would. What are Mitani, you gonna do? Drop your Komodo and lose it? No, what he's gonna do nah, is... Nah, dude, gonna, the Komodo lives in Horde staging, and... oh, 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 the Komodo lives in Horde staging, so D.Va's joining Horde next. That's crazy. No, no just because this is Iron Man, dude. You heard it here first. Mav lives in Horde staging. Diva's no, no, no. Mav's Komodo lives in Horde staging. Actually, Wait, and... let's just clarify. Have you taken it? Have you jumped it out of staging since I sold it to you? Yeah, I jumped it to MJ Tech. I moved it to the new Horde staging. 
Oh, just a no. meme on people. I joined a horde move up fleet and I moved it from R10 to MJ Tech. So what's wrong with test staging? Or Nothing, test but... Um, test staging I... is hyper AFK. That's what's wrong with it. I was gonna, I was gonna say... Is this the staging that belongs to Test Alliance? What, I was gonna actually... say, he doesn't want to test his luck with it, so... Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving luck. it a little bit. I got some skills. I got some skills joke. to train on the character and... You know, like, I don't really want to take any risks with it. I did Wait, want, like, but... Gone. You got I injected a new character. I injected well? a new you character, Billy. You spent all of your money on the champion's butt plug. <laughs> for yeah, to have you... Station. Why did you inject a tune for a faction titan? <laughs> why oh, not, dude? Oh, my to be God. Fair, well, what okay. else is did you gonna do? Titan, did, did you not have a titan pilot casually I, sitting around? I, I do, yeah. I have a pilot. Well, then, I can fly up. Because I wanted, wanted to. Oh, on, yeah. okay, to be fair. Okay, then inject the non-faction titan into the no, normal No, it's because titan. he wanted no, because the, the character to be named name. a Komodo. Oh, yeah. God. Nobody cares about the name. Cricket cared. He gave him props. Okay. Yeah. And dude, that's all we needed was Cricket props. Dude, it's gonna be Pog. This is what no, you're fucking it. not, dude. Yeah, okay, we are. Be... A Ragnarok and a Komodo are gonna kill something, and then a Komodo is gonna die to Snuffed. Okay, to be fair, no, I totally understand Snuffed the is idea. It, it, Why if... are you gonna feed Snuff a Komodo? Why wouldn't you? Oh, wait, you don't have one because you're poor and your alliance is terrible well, and you should feel right. bad about it. You're right, I have a Moloch, but we're gonna... Yeah. Oh, wait, Billy, while you're here, does it have any kill marks? I'm guessing not. Uh, should have a few. I don't know where they are, I couldn't find them. I feel yeah, I'm bad. actually kind of sad, because I had my, like, workhorse levy, I gave it to some other guy's SRP, and that ty that levy had, like, I don't know, like, 60 kill marks or something, and it probably did um... more damage in a Titan than any other Titan in history. Wait, That's did you... Was that your Komodo, Billy? Yep. Yeah, dude. Oh. So when I got it, like, I, I wanted to, like, meme with it, but then I realized how much history it had, and I'm like, damn, like, I don't want to be the guy who, like, screwed the pooch. So, like, so, yeah. Uh, this is a very thrilling conversation, but we never got the chance to, like, you know, absorb the fact that what the Matani said was going to happen about, you know, a lot of corpse. Dang. What's just happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she, why is she... I don't know, I don't know, but it was funny. Oh, and oh my God. The Matani was not the first person to say that. But we like, fucking said it for like a right, year though. and a half. Yeah, Vili literally we were all said right. it was the a fuck war do of you mean? Wait, is, did I quote you right, Vili? Yes. Yes, Polygon, you yeah, got it. Yeah, war, a war of... <laughs> oh my God. A war of extermination. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh Listen, I'm just saying that if we want to be fair and balanced news, we should, you know... Sir, no one ever said yeah. this was fair and balanced news, yeah, but we all, did, you know, I'm trying. We did sure. all it's say, you, you can Red find Lion, VODs. I said it was fair and balanced two weeks ago. You can't even say fair and balanced regularly. I doubt you said it in a conversation with somebody. <laughs> I did two weeks ago. No, you didn't. Yes, you have I never did. told anybody that. I Why did, would you because, say that to them? Because he was like, this is a pappy platform. I was like, no, like, goons could stream on here if they wanted to, but they're cowards. It's true. I'm literally right they here. Could... Suck my cock. Okay, yeah, but stream you're not on the streaming. platform, then. Why? I literally don't have the bandwidth to stream. We he doesn't I have streaming. your bandwidth, then. Dude, he I has, don't care. I he has internet issue. provided by Dude, three maybe cows. Maybe Stop plexing marshals and Bro, fix your internet, dude. He's obviously gonna stream from Russia, okay? Like, relax. S spicy, please. Yeah, just not today, man. Not today. Okay, I'm sorry. Mon I got back from making lunch. Man. Did we uh, reach a level 5 hype train? No, we didn't reach a level so. 5 like hype train. Level 3, yeah. I came in yeah. Yeah. 2. Level 2. Ah, God damn. Level 2. It's all spicy, it's all... Do you not want to see red wine eat a banana? I've seen it. No, it's I don't rather want to erotic. See red eat a banana. Okay, so yeah, goons are playing. Don't know okay, where, but, but like, it's gonna they, be interesting. All they're gonna do is go and shoot some little alliance somewhere. Yeah. And no, then claim a massive going victory. Passage, You're not going out, out of passage. passage. Hey, no hey, one's okay, gonna hey, invade hold, hold, the drone. If we were going to outer passage, we would be shooting a small alliance. Okay. 
Yeah. Mike, yeah. Mike, that was <laughs> the <laughs> obvious it joke, dude. the first dude. time the Goon Swarm punched yeah. them because they're incapable of they punching up. They have to go We, we literally again. beat you. Shut up, dude. You didn't win the war, dude. Pappy oh won the war. God. We covered this last time before We'll cover we it every time. This is why Pappy, Pappy lost. lost the war. Pappy no, they won didn't. the war. They, the truth is, is that the game oh, heavily defends defensive, defensive like, advantages. Oh and if yeah, uh, invaded Fort is on land. an iHub, by the way. Okay. I would... It, look. it is legitimately harder to invade drone harder to invade drone lands than it is, you know, delve. I don't think goons have the capability or the want to put a drones fight on. I, I there are two places that they can go in this entire game, essentially. That's so are, are we are we really talking about the goons invading invading drone lands again? Because every time we talk about it, the invasion just gets delayed another month. Like we were doing pretty well, but now it just gets delayed they, another month. They said they were deploying. Where are they deploying to? It's very interesting that you're speaking for your overlords now. Ultra will not be happy with you about that. What are you talking about, <laughs> Mav? You're so dumb. You literally come and help fire. Good, you literally come and help fire. More times than I can count. Like I've literally okay. seen spicy. Tests. Why are you tests. spicy? Why are you spicy? Why are you like sticking up to defend Imperium? Are you like their I pet or something? I'm not defending He's anybody. Pet, how am I? He's... How am I defending somebody by literally making a point? Matt was literally, literally like trolling their on feet. them, and you're like, I do de demand you do not troll the Imperium or like say anything bad no, about I my said overlords. He comes and helps fire more than anything. Like. The Imperium came to help RC on a timer once, and then it's just like, oh, you guys are Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because no. they were, quote-unquote, valued allies. It's what they always do with their valued allies. They show up once, so they can say, well, we helped you that one time! Even, wait, hold we literally yeah, killed wait. their super the other day, what do you mean? Okay, wait, wait, hold, hold, hold up, Exactly, hold valued wait, allies! Wait, 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 hold up, no. Okay, one thing I will say, Test doesn't get- Test is like the fucking PL Jackdaw fleet to fire. Fire is in a better position than Test is. I'll at least say that about fire. Like, <laughs> Test- Okay. Like, fire is a so coalition. Can we- can we-, can yeah, we stop... fire is a coalition. Come on, buddy. What's Severance- that? Wow. Severance forms I mean that, more than you, Mav. I'm just I mean, that wasn't out. really like a- Arcadio's soul forms more than Test. I mean, yeah, What's... when he forms his entire coalition, yeah, he does no, no, form no. more than us. I thought he was in Tess. That's, that's false. He's no. in, uh, he's he's in, in Severance. No, he's Has he smarter. always been in Severance? Yes. Oh, he's okay, been in dude, Severance. I up. I'm sorry. Yes. Arcadius, out of, like, probably put in the most work at the end of the war, and then when, you know, when Severance went over to fire, he just kept doing his thing. And ended up with a healthier alliance than Tested because he kept doing his thing. So. I mean, it's not I hard when... <laughs> Credit where credit's due there. Test kind of did take, you know, the brunt of the, like, the damage after the war, let's be honest. I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know, easier you mean the to embarrassment? come off better when, you know, you don't lose a war. It's if, also easier to come off when you don't live in the region you were, like, sieging. And, and then also lose your home one. legion. I mean, if we are, if we are going to quote history correctly... After the war ended, you guys technically didn't have a home to go to for like it was a couple days. Pretty sure. It was like, a, it was like uh, two hey. weeks. You didn't oh, have so anywhere to go. We had a Keepstar Highway, dude. Fraternity uh, had a Keepstar somewhere. Highway that you had access to. There's a it big was a, difference. It was a lot of That's people. not really true. It oh, is really true. Here we go. Who owned the Keepstars? Whose name was Everyone. next to them? People. Test, everyone owned them. CPL, frat, like everybody owned the Keepstars. Test owned more of the Keepstars than anybody, though. Ah, uh, that's lame. Yeah, shut up, Redlin. Do we talk about Goon Swarm's deployment now? What do you mean, lame? Nobody knows anything about their deployment other than the yeah. people that are. Oh, can we talk about their deployment? I bet you now? know about it, Spice Same. We have I Mike have Flood in nothing. here. He's a goon. That means so he has to know. He doesn't okay. know anything about the okay. deployment. Listen, one, if I fucking did, I wouldn't say shit, Rain. Okay. Oh, Why not? Please. It's a talk show. Because, because I'm not gonna air out my plans to the world. That's like I, I tell plans. everyone about PL's plans. Mike dude. Flood's plans is to literally sit and delve and drop marshals on everything. Dude, my plan is to play this game as much as I can and have as much fun with my friends. That is my plan with this whole game right now. Is have fun with my friends. It's not to go on some fucking. Just make sure other people don't have fun. It's a goon tour mantra. 
I, I mean, gotta be honest, I just, you know, every time I try and go off on, like, try, go, you know, going to fight Horde and, like, even numbers of Nightmares, they don't show up, so, you know. Nightmares? Yes. I yeah, don't battleship buffs, Jeremy. Where are you at? I literally, like, I no, I don't think I've ever seen a nightmare fleet fight from you. Like, I, I think that's. I think you're literally just making that up. I'm not even making it up. Like, we literally. It's not a battle report, obviously, because Horde doesn't fight him. I mean, there's Do you like have a, a battle structure... report of you guys having nightmares around. Uh not Goon Swarm. No, Goon Swarm. Never the, it's a anyone squad. with them because they're terrible. Oh, Shut the fuck up, Mav. You're gonna tell him to suck your cock again. Can you no, just clarify then? When have you actually fielded nightmares? Uh, probably seven or eight times down in ESO. Probably? Uh, That's not uh, very I'm confident. Est I'm estimating, Mav. Do you know I everything know. I've How many yet? nightmares did you have? And when did you field them? The better question is, how many times has Tess come to save fire? So there's no, one. One, no one counts there's one. because we're valued allies, and that unlike was, you, that was I see you guys can help our allies. Tess actually like, helps their allies. I was using as That was show. Austin in it. I can try and find the other kill mail, but we went down there for multiple timers. Wait, is that a corp? Is that a real corp name? That's really fucking funny. No, uh, you can't just sign a joke. Yes, that's, that's a horde alt corp. <laughs> I love it. Oh, no. I'm trying to find the other kill. Uh, the one in... It's actually Horde... Before Horde VG deployed, so it's going to take me a moment. But... I like the CEO's name, too. So you have a 100-man fleet? Gobbins, Sino Jam. Oh. Close to 80, but... It was us and in Excellent. it, and then my own group... Well, there's 111 on the kill report, so it's actually a 110-man fleet. I mean... I mean, there's also definitely there. some hurricanes in there, but I'm just not even Yeah, I'm just Forget saying, logic. like, yeah, like, we had fairly even numbers with what Horde was bringing when they were bringing, like, 50 where, nightmares and 23 where was Where would the fight have happened? Probably on the gate or on the Astro. So 50 in, nightmares in and 23 Lokis is not in something ESA? VG, I think, is... In ESO, yeah, so where you VG can literally, 50 you can literally stream Goon Munins on top of us. So, I mean, of course we're not going to tell that engagement. Because you just stream dictors and meanings and kill I mean, everything. Look, kill the fucking dictors. I mean, you, like... If you already had dictors, a... then you're not shooting the things that are shooting you. It's not... You're going to be like, why don't you take a uneven fight where you I can mean, feed we me? No, we, no, no, no. We, um, we literally... Re we were refing... Yeah, you guys complain about we, hold up, we refed we NX5 in the fucking nightmares. Okay. Wait, no, is it? No, not how, NX5. How it's many times something. do you followed up? How many times come from an armor timer, Mikey? I didn't because you I guys are like zero and sixteen for four timers. I'm not gonna lie, it's really I'm sad. Gonna, I'm just gonna throw this out there that it's only one second. It's only okay. 13, Dude, 13 how... nightmares. It's only thirteen nightmares. Though. Yeah, I'm sure that thirteen nightmares either. Let's look at this. Uh, it's thirteen gonna... nightmares in a fax. So. So yeah. nightmares and a fax on our region that's connected to two major uh, coalitions. No, that, was, that, was, no, that was in that was in one. faith. That was, that was in faith. faith. That, by the way, like, so was, wait, wait a second. Are you saying that uh, not taking space? Are you saying? Yeah, I'm sure if Horde not... was aware of this, and or v, Horde VG was aware of this was and before was... VG deployed. Oh so. no no oh, no 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 no, no 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 no. Okay, that was the night they uh, went for that. What was the Fortizar you guys went for like four different times? Oh yeah, Ooh. that night. I remember that. I, I'm asking Mav, Redline. You're not relevant to the game anymore, so... It's true, I'm not. Aww. It's a fair, what was the, makes uh, a fair point. It was that Fortizar in cunty, US something. A fair point. Oh, so you're telling me there was like a 120-50-man initiative Eagle Fleet at the same time then? There was about a 100-man Eagle Fleet? But why and... didn't you just undock your Nightmare Doctrine and fight our Nightmare Doctrine? Oh, oh, even though we've got oh. eagles for them, we hey. promise they're not going to come, hold, guys. Hold we up. promise hold, it'll be hold, an honorable fight. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Tess was Max, forming Typhoon. You did some El Terrari. There's Nightmares Tess was to kill. Tess was yeah, forming. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, Muskie's in the chat. He's not going to come on the talk show and talk to me about how he's losing in Jump Ridges to me? Excuse Zero me. for 16, by the way, on four is our timers. Muskie, Dude, not... I killed one of your jump. Oh wait, no, you're the wrong person. Never mind. So no, what you're, I was going to say. You're not gonna talk to me about how many jump ridges I've killed more than you, and you're. No one cares about anti-blacks, yeah. dude. Yeah. Type yeah. Your trash in whole... fucking chat. Type Spicy, in chat. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm not gonna support you for this one because uh, Muskie's senpai. Sorry. Okay, that's not relevant. Thanks. Hey. Like, I'm, I'm actually gonna actively go against you. Who cares? And in, in, in fairness to that fight. 
literally not even 30 minutes beforehand, goons got dunked in that area. So, it wasn't so like we had, like... You had then just rage ping for, like, another 150 guys. Yeah. No. Literally, we, every like, time you see the literally... nightmares, you rage ping max munins on Alterari Phoenix. Nightmares to kill. Let's go, guys. Like, come on. And in fairness, if you guys yeah, actually stayed in fight... It. No, 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 no. Hold up. In fairness, if you guys actually stayed in fight, you probably would have mulched multiple munin fleets with the nightmare numbers you were pulling. I was Possibly, surprised. but we would also yeah, trade... But, like, and then the capitals that yeah. you were trying to sneak around the back as well. Well, so okay, it wasn't please, just please, the subcap, yeah, okay, was it there, Mikey a, boy? No, 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 no. Hold up, one second. What is 13 carriers going to do to you? Because that's what I saw the other day. 13,000 DPS. I, I just find it kind of funny that people who were like trying to blob, uh, blob gonna, goons uh, in the water are now I'm angry. That, like, I there. actually, I honestly... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not, it's not like, deny, it's not saying like, oh, we were angry about you blobbing. It's just us saying, no, we're not going to ex like take our expensive doctrine and like give you an even fight because it won't be an even fight. You're going to come and blob the expensive doctrine. Okay. Uh, Riker, what alliance were you in during the war? Oh, it wasn't Pappy. Like, I was definitely part of the problem. Happy moment. And, like, and here's uh, a great everyone, example. Hold on, everyone there was blocked. 50 Paladins sitting on a Fortizar literally not, what, a week ago? And you guys had, like, what, 250 hacks? 200, something like that? And you chose to not go in? Yeah. That, hold on. I, was I, that, I, hold on. Hold I, on. Was that the TRO7 yes. Fortizar anchoring timer? Yes. Not, Yet, uh, I mean... I don't no, know if it was the anchoring timer. There was, like, 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 uh, with fighters already but on the somebody just too. told me that 13 carriers don't do anything is 20 the magic it number was, yeah. it was not 20 jesus christ <laughs> it was, it was, was 30, 30. <laughs> well, i mean on top of that like the 70 other dreads but by the way okay. BG can form a pretty fucking scary Those amount like of dreads. Yeah, dreads, don't do, dreads don't do anything to hacks though dude also like who's not, gonna not, okay in, to hacks, in, right? in no hold up in fairness who is going to drop 10 billion -esque <laughs> dreads in 2020 like Let's let's be real for a moment, okay? Right. Or fire, RC, fire. What, what I'm saying. Frack, you know it's bad you know when Spike okay. is defending. Try. But in all seriousness, I, I don't even the hero yeah, coalition. Try's gonna, so try is gonna you know pussy out and fucking get out of their EOSs for the tenth time. I don't. I actually I, don't know why you pair, don't you take know, the paladins goals. on like, that are, fight. Are you actually actually talking shit about try when you won't even jump your super big nightmare fleet into like? you know, any level of danger, even even an even fight? I le Okay, in the times we have almost got engaged, the numbers were either super even Every time they we were have brought up favor. an example, it has turned out there was an additional 100 plus hack <laughs> yeah. in every situation. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you're like, and yeah, so it was even Pappy. until and our 150 so man fleet Hold comes, up, right? no, and so didn't Fire. It's not just Horde so VG there, it's fire, fire there too. How many hacks do you think Fire forms in US time zone? Yeah. Some nights it's Equal numbers Some within it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, who do you think is going to get more numbers when they start pay pinging? The dude who is pinging hacks to kill, or the dude pinging fucking horde nightmares to kill, max meanings and alterary phoenix over and I mean, over and I over mean, again? I who's going to get the more the more numbers, dude? <laughs> well, who's fucking not, the nightmare the, first? The, yeah, I was going to say not the people pinging repeatedly for the say, saying kill. Let's go kill nightmares. And nightmares. I mean, that's what alterary phoenix seems to do, I mean, dude. Grand, so. I mean, the, the amount of numbers you guys got after what was it, like three or four pings, yeah, obviously not the person rage ping even about like... this to kill. Yeah, like my group never had more than like twenty five nightmares when we would go into faith of all. Your balls. group. That that then, group that yeah. number's growing. I thought it was like thirteen just before. Well, it was thirteen on one battle report, and there was forty five the most... on another. So the, yeah, started. that was with that was combined with initiative. I'm talking, Damn, dude. So do you think there's any situation where initiative was combining the nightmares with yours where they didn't have that, supporting I'm, I'm fleets ready with, to go? This has escalated into something that changed the entire origination of this conversation. I, I was gonna say that X, that X seven timer, there was it was just us and it. There was no so one they, else. Well, that was that was when you guys glassed all of it, right? And you weren't contested, right? Which one? The X seven? That was Oh, wait, not X7, sorry, I'm referring to a different timer. No, that was, um... However, comma, I will say, back to the 13 carriers, 13 carriers application on Nightmares is shit. I've tested yeah, this. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, uh, take take a look yeah, at what I happened to Spicy. Say... 
Yeah, thirteen yeah. carriers aren't gonna do shit to nightmares. And like, I was gonna, the, my big tested it. Okay, I've I've had real world experience testing this on a Fortizard grid. Okay, like <laughs> that was actually a really good fight. I enjoyed that. Like yeah, that we were, we were like we were testing it, and it was interesting watching it. I'm surprised the fax tanked. Honestly, that the fax tanked him. Yeah, like, a bit of new damage right there. I had him on a I had him on watch list. I locked him up with my carrier, and I was like, dang. He's a uh, he's he's really going for it. Okay, you actually, you know what something I'll bring up that's completely off topic, but I want to bring it up. Please don't. Sure. Okay, how the long until we? Cheese cranskies are awesome. How long until we see uh, vulture fleets instead of eagle fleets? Uh, we had one out today. You didn't come and fly it. I, I'm ta I, I'm ta oh, Hold up, I'm talking in um like main fleet style, not just like the horde VG style groups. With the price, there... with I mean, how I'm the in the mega and I was in one, what, so what I mean, it's not VG. What oh, wait, benefit what? would that confer over just a uh, like a battleship fleet post changes? Ah, uh, price. Have you the that price also... on the price that on command also... ship is crashing, dude? That's why I was bringing it up because command ship prices, things like that, the prices continue to crash. They're also hacks as well, Jerem. Well, they're not hacks, but like you can you can like engage like a hack can, right? So you can disengage, etc. Yeah, no, that's an actual like this is going to e economy a bit. Um, but like, look at how much the prices on T two shit is crashing, which is good because more ships to kill. Well, it went quiet. Did everyone's like? Did everyone use all their energy on like screaming? I think so. I mean, I'm I already tired because. I mean, get a bit honest. Like, I just I want Eve to be like back to uh twenty like seventeen Eve. No, I, I, twenty thirteen I... best Eve. No, I mi dude. You know, I'll be honest. I miss when Brave lived close because I Brave was, was all Brave was best Eve. Well, I really? never played. I I was in twenty seven twenty thirteen. I would have been like. 10 so i would have been 10 so yeah something like that but like i didn't all... play in 2013 either i was about the same age that faulty was when he started playing you would have been fine uh, all, oh, jo all, jokes, all jokes aside for a moment fighting pl in that curse marauder bullshit comp we had was probably the most fun i've had in the past couple weeks did we talk about the fact that uh bomb damage went up yes, it doesn't it really does. it, it affects hacks it doesn't affect battleship that's punk so just yeah, it's gonna be easier to bomb hack fleets. It but for battleships, it doesn't really matter. No, you can't just sign a gem or keep stars. Um, <laughs> that's like that's the only thing that kind of matters. Like yeah, it does matter. It matters for anything. It really is in battleships. If you don't have enough, like you know, uh, defender, that's about it. Though it doesn't really affect a lot of uh, a lot of that shit. During this long of the conversation, ladies and gentlemen, are you aware that New Win Post is a YouTube channel? Cringe. That's right, we have a YouTube channel, and our Cringe. goal is a, our, shut the fuck up. Our Cringe. goal is a, I will mute you. Cringe. I have that power. Cringe. I can Cringe. unmute myself. Cringe. Shut up. Cringe. The goal is to reach a thousand subs so we can actually stream on the two platforms Cringe. at once. I, I will mute you, dude. Thank you. RIP, Jeremy. So the goal is to reach a thousand subs, which means we can stream on both YouTube and Twitch, which means you don't have to wait That's three not... days to see the VOD on YouTube. Yikes. That's Chaos scamming us, boys. And That's it's not... free. <clears throat> That's not what, the isn't reason. that the reason we need a thousand so we can stream on YouTube? Chaos no, scamming we need... us. We need a thousand so that I can show ads on YouTube. <laughs> So you're basically just gonna scam people? Yeah, it wouldn't okay. be the first time Redline scammed. Scammed Either line. way, go to YouTube, hit that sub, it's free to do, it helps out the channel, and it means you can see the VODs faster. Okay guys, I gotta go. Bye, Smicey. Take care, dude. See you around, bud. Have a good night, guys. Also, also, real question, boy, I want a uh, real thing. Um, Taki for best PLFC. Tachi, I adore Tachi, he's Cerberus. a good lad. No, like, actually, like, no, like, I appreciated the Serbs coming in versus, like, fucking, like, whatever else you would have brought, which would probably be Eagles. So, I didn't appreciate the Serbs going in. <laughs> okay, Redline, I said put webs on Headliner.
You appeared on grid in my Marshall, my Chrono. I'm, I'm Red sorry. liner, headliner, easy. Mix up. <laughs> easy mix up. Yeah, I said Webb's on headliner, and then someone goes, "Oh, Redline's here," and then someone goes, "He's not anymore," and you are already dead. Redline, it's because you're an FC. Like Redline, you didn't even. An an FC. You didn't even broadcast me. No, I didn't broadcast you. Oh, I didn't it's even know I'm... you died. It's I'm like one of two red targets on your overview, right? Uh, I don't. You might be. I don't know. Like in that mm -hmm. in that fight, I was probably one of like two targets. I didn't even. I didn't even. See, I didn't. I didn't even see you on my overview, dude. I'm gonna be Jesus. honest. I I had a Logi overview loaded. Like. Okay, so this is for all the goons idea. watching. Don't just kill me. You have to do what your FC says. That's how fleets work. Nah, Please. my my MWR, keep doing what you're doing, baby. You know. It's Please. an MWD. Also, uh, I, I do want no, to it's say. An MDW. Uh, all, I do want to say congratulations, Calixos, if he's uh, watching. Hey, hey. Calixo, one of our FCs just had a kid. Oh, Paul. Congratulations. Oh, congrats. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing to congratulate about. Yeah, yeah. well done, Greg. Well done. <laughs> Greg, Greg, what is your Have opinion on. Up. Hold up, Greg, what's your opinion on Attack on Titan? Uh, I've, I never got into it, but. The, I, the the couple of episodes I watched seemed all right. No. Why are we talking about anime? Well, no. We're not. Fuck anime. Listen, the best anime. I think is... we should talk about anime. Why, why can't no. we talk about anime? The best anime. Why can't is we talk no. about anime? Oh my god. Talk why about can't anime? we? Why the? Can because we talk about? Can we talk about it. this kill mail? It confuses me. The best anime is brand Talks new anime. There. I don't understand Redline's what toxic. he was doing. I am toxic. Is this Get over it. I don't know, dude. I'm really confused. Mad, I'm right. I don't. Yeah, it just happened, and like, yeah. Why? It was the second orca he lost in a day as well. Who lost another orca? Just like look in the Twitch chat. Somebody did. I bet. He lost one to rats, and then he lost one to, uh... Yeah. But was it, was it uh, the rat the nav? Yeah, it was no, the rat. No. I was going to post rats. Do not Max post rats the rat. to the cesspool. Well, good news, boys. I've taken Berlin. You're playing but... Hearts of Iron? No, I'm, pl I'm playing Empire Total War. Can you have oh, animated, uh, animated emojis on Twitch? You yes. can, yeah. Can we have that, like, the little rat jam as an emoji? No. Why not? You are older than you are. Don't Why wanna. not, Redline? Don't need to. Can you also put Mr. Worldwide on the cesspool, please? No. Why not? You scammed. I didn't scam anybody. You did? You scammed? I didn't Empire scam Twitch anybody. It's a fun game, but it's a buggy mess, and... This is an EVE not Online Eve, show, no one not a... Not a whatever the fuck you're talking about, but it's okay. Yeah. The show is the show is pretty much over at this point. I mean, no, no, it's not. I've got 13 more minutes of shit talking in me. No, it's 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 over, dude. You lost your steam. Yeah, you it's... lost your thunder. Yeah, I'm a little you tired can't, now. You can't I just get it my back. energy. And it's okay. It's fine. You know why? Because this why? show why will be here next week. No, it won't. Probably. It'll be here the week after that. We'll just keep doing the show until we die or we produce a good show. Eve dies. No, Redline. We will keep doing the show after we're all dead. Can I tell you, Redline, to ban not... someone from the show? I will no. not let Redline cancel no. the show, guys. Don't worry about that. It'll but keep living. The show's canceled right now. Goodbye. Good. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Oh. It's International Women's Day. I appreciate women everywhere. It's International Women's Appreciations Day. They can't hear you. They can't hear you, but they I think they can hear me. Chat, you can hear me, right?
We're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Mind One. Don't say unfortunately. That's toxic. They said. They said unfortunately they can still hear me. That's toxic. Pretty sure you are joining Horde Mav, and that's okay. Oh, you said you're leaving the Horde staging, the Komodo there? Interesting. 